Hi everyone, I wanted to give you a quick energy update. Um, I'll be doing like probably one or two more videos today as well, so check back for those. I just check my channel. But I wanted to give an update that I feel like... So this could be feminine or masculine. You know, it doesn't matter. There's, there's no gender, you know, feminine, masculine. It's just energy. So please, if I say, fem if I say feminine and you know it's for you and you're a male... Um, or vice versa, you know, just, just take it as it resonates. It's, there's, there's no gender here. These readings apply to gay and lesbian relationships as well. You know, everybody's welcome here. Um, but I just wanted to say that I feel like there's like a leveling up this month. I feel like you're going through some... I feel like you're wrapping up your karmic test. Like you've learned most of your karmic lessons. Your spirit guides, like divine feminines and divine masculines, like your spirit guides are really proud of you. Like you've wrapped up karmic cycles. Like you're free of karmic cycles. You've, you know, truth has been revealed. You've seen what you've needed to see. You've moved on from it. You know, this could be a toxic person, toxic situations, whatever it might be. But a lot of you are really standing into your in your power right now. And your spirit guides are proud of you. They they notice this. They notice that the chain that you're making these changes. They notice that you're committing yourself to, you know, living the life that you're meant to have. They notice that you're getting on board with them. I think that some of you, for a long time, you were maybe fight, like holding on to karmic cycles, or you were like fighting against your spirit guides. But now you're really letting your spirit guides take control. I think some of you had like third eye blocks. Where it's like maybe you didn't trust your intuition, you didn't trust spirituality, maybe some of you are afraid of, I just, I see like third eye blocks and I see throat chakra blocks and I feel like you're taking action to clear those up now. You know, I feel like you went through a long phase where you didn't speak your truth, you didn't do what needed to be done, you didn't, um, you didn't trust your intuition, you didn't trust your spirit guides. You know, and now you do, you trust them a hundred percent. Like you're letting them in, you're communicating with them. You know, there's just a major psychic, uh, like leveling up is the energy I get. So either you're just coming into your psychic abilities, like you're not really familiar with psych, like with psychic work, you're just kind of now, you know, exploring, uh, psychic readings on YouTube and that kind of thing. You're, you're, you know, you're curious, you're doing some research and, you know, you're about to level up. You're about to go through a really big psychic awakening where you're going to start channeling yourself. You're going to start receiving psychic downloads. Your ears might ring. You might just have, like, intuitive nudges. It's like you're, you're really learning to listen to your intuition. For those of you that are already psychics, I feel like you're going to have a major spiritual gift within the next month in October. By October 31st, maybe even on the 31st, I feel like you're going to have a major psychic gift, like... If you've been trying to, because um, I keep getting clear audience for a lot of you, but if you've been trying to maybe study something with the occult or with, um, you know, like astrology, psychic practice, I just see like a major leveling up where you're getting some kind of spiritual gift. Basically, you're getting some kind of, um, just some kind of psychic ability. Like your third eye is going to be open. Your throat chakra is going to be open. You're going to be speaking your truth. You're going to be living your best life. You're going to be really in your power. And, um, you know, this is a reward. This is a reward for, you know, what you've been through, for ending karmic cycles. I know I have a lot of div divine masculines on my channel that, you know, were stuck in these karmic cycles with toxic people for so long. And now they have no desire to go back to the karmic. Like, there's, there's just nothing that would make them want to go back to the karmic. There's nothing that would make them want to go back to... Some of them might have cut out, um, some of you divine masculines might have cut out toxic friends, toxic family members, toxic living situations, whatever it might be. But I'm just getting the energy that like there's, you know, nothing would make you want to go back to that. You're just, you're beyond over it. There's, there's no emotion there towards the karmic for you or towards the karmic situation, you know, take it as it resonates. And your spirit guides just, they love you so much and they're so proud of you because I feel like your spirit guides were screaming at you for so long to get away from that person get away from or maybe multiple people get away from that the community get away from the environment whatever it was that was keeping you held back it's like they took the blindfold off and this time you allowed them to you know for those of you in my third party group it's like remember i was saying the masculine kept 
putting the blindfold back on and, and his spirit guides would take it off and he'd put it back on again. This time I'm feeling like he let them take it off. Like he didn't fight them this time. He let them take the blindfold off and he's like, you know what, let the chips fall where they may. You know, come what may, I'm I'm leaving this toxic energy behind. Nothing's Nothing in the world would make me go back to that. Like he has freed himself. He has stepped into his power. He sees the truth. He sees the light, you know. There were some, for those in my third party group, it's like there were some major truths revealed about the karmic and there's no unseeing that. There's no, there's no going back from that. There's nothing in the entire world she could say or do to, to change what he knows now, to change what he's seen. You know what I mean? Like he's well aware he's done with that energy completely a hundred percent. And it's just such a beautiful energy and his spirit, his spirit guides are just so proud of him because it's like they were trying to warn him for so long and he ignored them. And it's like he pushed his spirit guides away. He pushed away these high vibrational beings that were trying to help him um, because he wanted to live in denial or whatever, you know. And, and now it's like he's on the same page with them. He's on board with them. He's he's trusting them. He's trusting his intuition above all else. Um, and he's getting on his spiritual destined path with his divine feminine, you know. This path is going to lead. It, it has for some of you or it will lead to marriage. Um, it will lead to, um, you guys might be doing psychic work together for some of you, like just, just everything, like all the abundance you could imagine, you know, this is the divine masculine's reward for, for, you know, being strong, for being assertive, for standing in his power, for, you know, having faith in love, having faith in destiny, having faith in his spirit guides. It's like, he finally sees his spirit guides are not the enemy. His spirit guides have just been trying to warn him for so long. And now he's like, wait a minute, I get it now. You know, like you guys were just trying to protect me. I'm getting that the divine masculine and I'm going to go into like the divine feminine too and just some other things because I'm getting that this is collective energy where a lot of you, both male and female, have some psychic gifts coming in. So I want to look into that here with the cards. But um but yeah, it's like he's just so on board with his spirit guides now. I just feel like he's really connecting with his angels, gods and goddesses, dragon spirits, fae spirits, you know, whatever else. Like he's really, he, he understands now that they've just been trying to help him. They've just been trying to protect him and, you know, help him this whole time. So it's like his, his throat chakra is unblocked. His third eye chakra is unblocked and there's no blocking it again. He has so many powerful spirit guides that are protecting him right now that are, guiding him that are I think I think a lot of these masculines are starting to channel they're starting to actually communicate with their spirit guides or they're starting to like receive psychic visions psychic dreams psychic downloads like they're starting to um you know for those of you that are in separation it's like they're starting to like telepathically communicate with you maybe even meditating and and purposely communicating with you so you know be there for them through that too because some of them they haven't experienced a psychic awakening yet so and it can be a little scary at times, you know, because it's like you're communicating with these spirits and these energies. So, you know, divine feminines just be there um, through that. But, um, but yeah, it's beautiful energy. And they're just, they're so protected. The divine fe feminine masculine is just there. You guys have so many high vibrational spirit guides around you. It's, it's just beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And no one can touch it. Like, you have powerful guides around you. Anyone dares to try to even block your chakras or confuse you or gaslight you and there it's not even touching you it's like it's just so beautiful it's like you don't even have to lift a finger you're just you're just spiritually you're just protected you know what i mean like physically of course you have to keep watching your back just because the karmics are such psychos but i mean the karmics in this energy group karmics are not always bad but the karmics in my third party readings for those of you that are new, I do third party readings and the karmics in this specific energy group are absolute psychos. So, so for this energy group, the karmics are not good. <laughs> um, so, you know, but, but spiritually it's like you're, you are beyond protected. <laughs> like it's nothing can touch you. Then there's no hex that can touch you right now. You're just, you're good. You're good. Um, but yeah, physically, of course, as always, you know, use your intuition, watch your back just because these karmics are psychotic, but like, they can't really, like, I don't know, they're, it's even to the point where it's, like, like, I know, okay, like, the one that's stalking me, I've been shown that if she were to drive out here, if she were to find my address somehow and drive out here, the divine would actually get her in a car accident. 
like she would not necessarily die, but like I've 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 had a I've had like visions. I've seen it. I've seen her car like being totaled, you know. So it's like even physically, like I mean, you guys need to like you guys need to trust your intuition. Like if something tells you, hey, change your lock, change my change your locks, or hey, um, you know change your phone number or whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever it might be, like, listen to your intuition. It's not just like a free for all, but you know, you're protected. I just want to put that out there. And I'm going to go more into these third party updates just because I have, there's a lot of beautiful energy coming in for your, for the divine masculine and feminine and no one can touch it. And it's just, it's so amazing. There's such a breakthrough that's occurred. Um, but, um, but anyway, I'm, I'm doing other third party readings, so I don't want to get too into that because I know some of you are not in the third party group and this, this reading was not actually meant to be a third party reading. This is actually, cause this is multiple people that are going through a leveling up and you might not necessarily be in a third party situation. You know, this is divine masculines and feminines. I do want to say though, for those of you in a third party situation, the karmic has lost all her abilities. They have been taken away. Like, they, cause remember before I was saying, you know, the karmic is like, she's a little girl trying to do all this magic that she doesn't understand, messing with energies that she doesn't understand, messing with demons. And remember I kept getting that she was like lighting this candle and she thought she was all big and bad. And then I see this, um, and this reading might be in two parts cause my phone is still being kind of weird cause I got a new phone. But anyway, remember I saw this, it's like this little girl lighting this candle and she had like a couple imps, a couple little low vibrational imps helping her. And she had all these gods and goddesses and all these angels, all these really powerful like dragon spirits, like everything around just watching her. You know, for those of you that are new, my, new to my channel, that's something I saw that was like a visual I got when I was channeling. And she, if she knew what she was doing, she wouldn't have been doing those hexes because they they just, they're coming back on her tenfold now. It's just amazing. It is amazing. It's like she had a little bit of a chance, but I'm getting that now she's dug herself into that hole and she's trying to dig herself out. She's trying to find every loophole she can to dig herself out of that hole and it's too late for her. Um, but I mean, granted, she can still make her life worse. Like her life is already going to be screwed up for quite a while because of what she's done. But I mean, she can make it worse. You know what I mean? Like she could put herself, she could get herself jail time. She could get herself, you know, some of these karmics are going to get themselves killed. Some of these karmics that are, want to kill the divine feminine are going to end up getting killed themselves. That's not for everybody. I think for most, like they probably won't. But I mean, for some, like the divine masculine and divine feminine are so protected that if she did try to come after them physically, like if she did... Like the one that tried to, um, the one that wants to find my address, like if the bitch did find my address, I already know my spirit guides would, they would fuck her up. Like she wouldn't even make it here, you know? Like literally, literally. It's, it's that, and you guys are just as, as protected. You know, those of you in this energy group, you are just as protected. So, so yeah, use your intuition, like, you know, keep, you know, change your phone number, your locks if you need to. I'm not saying go out and do whatever. Like, you need to protect your address and your personal space and everything else. Like, yeah, because they're psychos. But I'm just saying, like, you, you're you heavily protected. But listen to your intuition, too, if you have, like, you know, if you have, like, a red flag go off or something tells you 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 know, need to get a knife or something. If you're walking out at night by yourself, then do it, you know, get that knife, do what you need to do. But, um, but yeah, anyway, sorry. I know some of you are not in the third party group. So I just wanted to basically say that, you know, divine feminines and masculines, you guys are going to have like spiritual gifts coming in this, this month, this is happening now. Like some of you are either going through this, the first psychic awakening of your life where like, you're going to start channeling. You're going to start talking to spirits. It might freak you out a little bit, but you're, you know, go with it. You know, you're safe. It's part of the process for others. You are already psychic. Some of you might have your own platforms, but you're going to be receiving another psychic gift. Like you are, um, like if you have like a YouTube channel or TikTok, it's, it's going to, your spirit guides are taking it to the next level. Your spirit guides are giving you more psychic gifts. They're bringing the right people in that need to hear your messages. And 
Oh, so I'm sorry. When I channel, I get all over the place. <laughs> I go like a million miles a minute because it's so much information. Like I receive so many downloads and it's just so intense. But what I was trying to say about the karmic is like, okay, you guys remember when I saw that little girl that was basically trying to do this heavy magic and she, you know, she didn't know what she was doing. She had these little imps working with her. If she saw the beings around her that were about ready to fuck her life up, she... It's like, they, I see them like smirking, like, okay, she does want to fuck around and find out. Like, I see them like, it's like a little girl trying to punch like a, like a god or something. It's just, it's a joke. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. You know, it's pathetic. But, um, but yeah, I'm getting that. So if she even did have a little bit of power, like maybe in the past she was able to hex you or, or do breakup spells or whatever. I'm getting that that power has been completely stripped from her. Like she has no power now. Like her hex, none of her hexes will work. She could do whatever. She could do, she could do death spells on you. She can do breakup work. She can do this. She can do that. And she will try to find a loophole. She, they are, the karmics are trying to find loopholes and there's no loophole. And, and she can't hide from spirits. The spirits know that she's trying to find a loophole and it's actually just pissing them off more and making them come at her even harder. Because they know she's trying to be sneaky and she's trying to find some way around this energy. Like, oh, maybe a family member can do a protection spell for me. Yeah, okay. And you think your family member can do a protection spell to to get rid of these spirits that you've pissed off and get rid of these spirits that these gods and goddesses and hypervational beings? Nah. All that's going to happen is you're going to take your family member down with you. Your family member is going to be screwed too for helping you. Anyone that helps the karmic is fucked. Anyone that helps the karmic is fucked. So they're just going down with her, you know? So yeah, she's looking for those of you in the third party situation. She's looking for loopholes. She's not going to find any of them. Um, but yeah, I just want you guys to know that her powers have been stripped from her. She has, she just, she has no powers. Like her, her magic's been taken from her, her ability as a psychic, a witch, whatever she was, it's gone. She can put all her energy, all her emotion into a candle, into a, a bath into whatever the hell she wants to do it is ineffective there's no she's she's not able to hex you guys anymore you know some of you do need to do uncrossing work because i'm getting that some of you do have a previous hex that she did maybe like a long time ago but other than that like currently in this current energy she can't do shit her power her the divine stepped in and stripped all her powers from her you know, no more hexes for the karmic, nothing. There's no loophole. And again, she's going to piss her spirit guides off. She's going to piss, or not her spirit guides, because she doesn't really have any at this point. But I mean, um, the divine masculine and divine feminine spirit guides, she's going to piss their, you know, piss them off even more. Like, she's already fucked. But, but she's, if she tries to keep finding loopholes, she's going to piss them off even more. And they're going to come down even harder than they're already planning on coming down on her. You know, these karmics are fucked. Like, they're... Their lives are fucked. Um, but yeah, I want to let you guys know that. Like, you're you're protected. The karmic has no more psychic ability. No more, um... No more psychic ability. No more... Well, I shouldn't say... Like, some of them do have psychic abilities, but it's like... They also have spirits in their head that are fucking with them, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> they have spirits that are trolling them. So, like, they have some little imps that are like, Oh, this is happening. This is happening. But then they have, like, a god or goddess come in and be like... Like, threaten them or, like, like tell them something opposite. You know what I mean? Like, they have spirits messing with their head right now. And there's no way around that. There's no, there's no protecting them. No one can protect them. They're done. But, um... But yeah, I'm getting mixed energies there. But as far as like witchcraft, no, nah, their 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 hexes are, are completely ineffective now. Everything they do is coming back on them tenfold. That's it's already begun. It, remember before I was channeling like the spirit guides were kind of taking all her hexes and they were holding it, like they were waiting to throw it back on her. They were waiting to see what she does next. Well, that time has come, you know. The that time has come. She's already paying this price now. And there's no way out of it. So the divine has already intervened. But um, but yeah, not all of you are in third party situations. But I just wanted to give you that update. Another beautiful update I have that on top of her losing her abilities, you know, again, no witchcraft she can do. If she tries anything physical, like she tries stalking the divine feminine or coming to her house, she's Again, spirits are going to see that. They're going to they're going to take that the same way they would take a hex. They're not going to be like, oh, okay, that's different because she's doing something physical. It's like, no. 
They're they're gonna take that just as bad, if not worse, than they would take a hex, and they're gonna fuck her life up a hundred times worse. Like her life is already like the karmic's lives are already fucked, but it's just I'm sorry, I cussed like a sailor. I'm sorry, but the karmic's lives are already screwed. It's just a matter of how bad they want to make it. Like, do they want to be screwed for the next six months? Or do they want to be screwed for the next six years or the next 10 years? Because they could get themselves to this point where long after, you know, the divine feminine masculine have gotten married, move on, moved on, maybe even started a family together, they could still be screwing up her life. Like the, the, the spirit guides could still be screwing up her life just for fun, just, just to keep it, just because that's what she deserved, just because... You know, she she tried to mess with a destined couple. It's not something you do. You don't try to mess with destiny like that. And, you know, some of these karmics are going to be screaming and crying, you know, a year from now, please just make it stop. I've already let him go. And their spirit, the spirit guides around her are going to say, no, sorry. Like, nope, you, rest, you mess with the wrong spirits. You mess with the wrong divine masculine and divine feminine. You mess with the wrong spirits. You know, so they're already screwed. But like I said, it's still, they still have options for how screwed they are. You know what I mean? Is it going to be six months? Is it going to be three months? Or is it going to be six, six months, six years, three years? You know what I mean? Like they're, it's like a little kid that's like testing their mom or dad. You know, they're testing the divine like that now where their their mom or dad is like, you're going to go on timeout for 30 minutes when we get home. And this little, this little bratty karmic is like, no, I'm not. I don't believe you. And, and their mom is like 35 minutes. 40 minutes. Well, little does this bitch know, like, when you get home, you're going to be on timeout for, you know, whatever your, you know, your mom, whatever your, your spirit guide in the situation, the spirit guides in the situation, you know, whatever they say, that's what, that's what it's going to be. There's no, there's no loophole. There's no, there's no blood sacrifice or anything. I know some of you karmics like to fucking do blood, blood magic and cut yourself and, and offer, ugh, just ew. There's, there's no, it's not going to work this time. <laughs> it's not going to work. But again, they can, they can decide how screwed they are. Some of them are going to, some of them are close to facing jail time, but they might, they might be able to avoid jail time. I'm getting that they still have like a few weeks left of like, depending on what they choose to do within the next few weeks, they, some of them might be able to avoid jail time, but you know, they're making it worse for themselves every single day. The more they try, the more they, they come at the divine feminine and masculine the the harder their lives are going to get um but yeah sorry i did not mean for this to be a third party reading my spirit guides love trolling the karmic they love trolling these karmics it is hilarious like i don't even intentionally do it i don't i mean sometimes i do like i find it funny i find it funny that these little these little girls these little boys keep trying to mess with kings and queens i find it amusing but you know, sometimes my spirit guides will just come through and troll the karmic for me. Like, I have one that's stalking me right now, and she just, she had to see my numbers go way up over the weekend. <laughs> that's the other, oh, that's the other beautiful thing. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. When I channel, I'm like, I'm everywhere. Um, my video is probably about to cut out, so please check back on my YouTube channel for part two. I'm sorry, I still haven't figured my phone out. But what I was saying is, so not only has the karmic lost her powers, but... The divine masculines and feminines are also being blessed with spiritual gifts, with psychic awakening energy, with, um, you know, with just everything they could imagine, just like the most beautiful energy. And the divine is going to force the karmic to watch that. The divine is going to make sure that the karmic knows that the, this divine masculine and this divine feminine is spiritually awakened their psychic abilities, their power, they are in their full power. The, the spirit guides are going to force these karmics to watch that. They're going to make sure the karmic knows that you are in your full power and that your person, your true love is in their full power. And the, they're going to make sure that the karmic knows that there is not a thing in the world that she can do to get you guys out of your power. There is not a thing in the world she can do to stop this reunion or union, if you guys are already, you know, for those of us that are already, for those of you that are already together, um, there, there's just nothing the karma can do, but, but yeah, it's like, it, it you just have so many blessings come in, it, coming in, and, you know, the longer the, the karmic holds on, the longer she's going to be forced to, to watch those blessings, to watch you have, 
you know, the life that she's just not going to have at this point, or it's very unlikely, you know, she hasn't really balanced out her karma. So on her current path, I don't see anything going well for her. Um, she's getting to that point where it might, might be too late for her in the near future. But, um, but yeah, the divine is going to force, is going to force these karmics to, to watch you have these spiritual gifts, to watch you level up, to watch you be on your destined path. They're going to force the, the karmics to watch you have all these blessings. And they're going to make sure the karmic knows that she's not going to have that because of the kind of person that she is or he. Some, for some, for some, the karmic is a, is a he, but for most of you, I think it's a, it's a feminine energy But yeah, they're going to force these karmics to know that, you know, they're, they're never going to have that, these spiritual gifts because of the kind of person that they are. And they're going to have to watch you have everything that they want all the psychic abilities, you know, some of you are witches, all the power, everything that, that you have, the karmics are going to have to watch that. Their own jealousy and bitterness is going to eat them alive. It's eight of swords energy where they're just, they're going to do it to themselves. The karmics are going to destroy themselves with their own jealousy. Um, it is a beautiful energy. So the harder the karmic tries to come at you, the more you're going to be blessed and the more your spirit guides are going to force her to watch you be blessed. It is just, it's amazing. But again, use your intuition to protect yourself, you know, because they are psychos. But you guys are good. There's her hexes, like I said, her hexes are not working. You're just, oh my gosh, it's such beautiful energy. It's such beautiful energy. It's like, it's just this breakthrough. But I'm originally, okay, so sometimes when I channel, I go off. And I didn't even know this reading was going to be about that because I actually wanted to tell you guys, some of you, so, you know, the majority of you on this channel you guys are about to go through like for this energy group and, and this, you know, whether you're in a third party energy group or not, a lot of you are about to go through a psychic awakening or you're about to receive psychic gifts. And I want to say some of you might be changing your diet. And I just want to say that's part of it. So if you notice that you're not craving greasy foods anymore or like you're eating different foods or you're not as hungry or just like you feel, I don't know, like there's something about like your diet like some of you are making these diet changes where you're eating healthier, you're trying to eat more, like you're trying to take more vitamins or more, um, like you're just more mindful about what you're putting into your body. That's a sign that you're going through this spiritual shift, this psychic awakening, because you have all this psychic energy, like all these downloads and all these spiritual gifts coming in. And sometimes your body has to be like, at like a certain vibration. Does that make sense? Because if you eat like a big, and it's not saying that you can never have hamburgers, but it's just saying like if you're going through one of these shifts, sometimes you might go through a period of like a couple weeks or so where you eat really healthy or you drink a lot of water and it's your spirit guides kind of preparing you for these, these heavy psychic energies that are coming in. Because it's like if you eat like a big greasy hamburger, it's like how do you feel? You know what I mean? Like your stomach feels kind of upset or heavy. Like you feel like physically you feel kind of bogged down, you know? So it's like if you, if you, you know, if you're eating lighter, it's like it helps you get in the, get in alignment with these spiritual gifts and these psychic energies. And it's not saying you always have to eat like that, you know, but I'm just saying that, you know, for some of you, that is a sign that you're about to level up. So, um, so yeah, don't be afraid. You know, if, if there's, if you're going through your first psychic awakening, you know, don't be afraid of it. It's, it's a really beautiful thing. As always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is below. I will be doing a couple other readings today. So check back for that as well. All right. Bye everybody.